Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the backward approach in multi-staged graph. So basically in previous lecture, we have gone through forward approach. The video is a bit lengthy, but please make sure you are perfect with that method guys. Because if you are perfect with the one method, either this or that, you can do the same opposite way for the other method. Okay, so you just understand the concept and you can solve it on your own. Just to practice one or two problems guys, that will be more than enough. You can do it in your examination. And don't waste too much time in this problem because this is a bit lengthy problem. I do understand it, but don't waste too much time in solving that step by step neatly. You can just skip some steps which are not mandatory and you can just write the answers a bit faster. Okay. Okay. So for this time, I took a smaller example than the previous in the previous time I took from the previous year question paper. And this is also from the previous year question paper. Okay, so this is the multi-stage graph which he has given and he asked specifically to use backward approach. So that was the main thing that you should observe. If there is a given thing like use forward approach or use backward approach, you need to fix for that only. Don't do the another method guys, please. Okay. Okay. So here also we are having stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four and stage five. Five stage graph. Is, the same, is this same graph guys? I'm confused now. No, no. It's a, it's a bit smaller graph. It's having nine, eight, nine vertices. Okay. That previous one we are having 12 vertices okay so the goal of this problem is to find the shortest path from s to d you need to tell the path what is the path and the cost of the path so both the things are to be considered okay so initially this below this also comes under the dynamic approach only so we'll be using a table to store our results that is nothing but an arrays three arrays we'll be using to store the data okay so i told you backward approach so everyone thinks that so let okay let us start from destination so no you are not going to start from destination. You are start. You are going to start from the source, guys. Please remember that. That's mandatorily you should start from source only. If you start from destination, you'll be confused again. So if you start from destination, that will become forward approach. Okay. So basically, let us take this example as our graph. So I think this time I'll be trying to solve at least a few steps, guys. As if in our previous lecture, I wasn't able to solve many steps. So here, let us try at least some steps. Okay. So initially, cost. So I hope everyone knows that the cost of i comma j here i indicates the stage okay and j indicates the vertex whereas cst of i comma j indicates cost from vertex i to vertex j so these two are vertices here stage and vertex please remember that guys because that is the most important thing in this both problems you should never confuse between cost and cst because the whole problem you'll be doing with, with these two terms only. Okay. So basically COST cost at stage one comma one. This is stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, stage five. This is backward approach. So we'll be starting from first. Okay. So from itself to itself will always be zero. Okay. So cost of at stage two. Now I am doing stage two, two and stage two, three. Okay. Cost is equals to is equals to. So here we are having a direct path between them. So there is no issue. You can directly write five and two. And if you want, you can even specify that it is a direct path. So there is nothing to solve. Okay. Whereas it comes to COST. I'll be just pushing the book a bit up. Okay. Now it's clear, right? Okay. COST of when you are calculating in stage three, stage three comma four. So here the main magic will be coming from here. The whole thing starts. Okay. So COST of three comma four. So now, sorry, call it as a stage three, fourth element. So now you want to calculate the cost from here. Okay. But you already have the value till here for these three values. You have already got cost at one cost at two cost at three. You have zero five two. Okay. Shall I write them again as usual? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the cost at zero is nothing but sorry. At one is nothing but zero five. Now we are calculating at 4. So indirectly we are having the cost until 2. So now let us add the cost CST of. Okay, so here also we are having multiple paths for 4, right? So again, we will be taking the minimum function. So minimum of cost of 2 comma 4. So this cost plus the previous cost plus COST of 2 comma 2. Second stage, second element. Okay, comma, again the second path, you can go in this way also, again we are having this value. So, cost of 3 comma 4, this cost 
plus the previous cost which we all already having cost of second stage third element among these two which is minimum is our question so minimum cost of 2 comma 4 is 3 plus 5 so the first term is 8 and 3 to 4 okay 3 to 4 is 6 plus 2 both are 8 so you can select any path okay so you can select any path so let me cross check it again so 8 comma 8 so we can take via 2 comma 3 so there could be any path so you will be writing 2 by 3 there in this also you will be writing 2 by 3 okay so it can be 2 or 3 it depends on your wish okay so i hope this time i was a bit cle more clear than the previous okay so now let us continue at 5 okay so cost of 3 third stage fifth element okay minimum of to 5 how many ways you can go there is only sorry guys there is only one way to go in this way there is no another path so there is no need of minimum also you can directly do cost of okay i think it's clear right okay so cost of 3 to 5 normal cost plus cost capital cost of 3 that is nothing but second stage third element okay so you will be calculating that is nothing but 7 and via 3 so in this way you will be continuing guys the same logic previously you used to see from one point how many paths are there now to this path how many paths are there so this is the only change between the forward and backward approach okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this okay so if you want i'll be continuing for this six also so i'll be explaining you from the diagram only it will be easy for you because if i even keep this paper here it will be occupying more space and again i need to move up and down it will be an issue for you only okay so now if you are calculating at six so now check how many incoming are there two are incoming okay so move back here so we already know the value of three and we already know the value of two so just add this distance with this already known distance so this distance with already known distance so you'll be getting here two values so among which you can select the minimum so the two values are nothing but eight and ten in which i selected eight as it is the minimum so via two similarly at the next stage so this stage is done which stage is done this stage is done now okay so now let us move on to stage four so this problem is only nine vertices so it is a bit easy and faster to do guys so here here we are having three incoming edges so we are having three different paths to seven that is nothing but via four via five via six so among these three which is having minimum cost is the thing that you should learn now you should do now so from four to seven it is one so one plus the previous cost similarly five to seven is six six plus previous cost of five 6 to 7 that is 6 6 plus previous cost so in that way if you solve you will be getting in this way that is nothing but 9 plus 9 comma you are getting 13 comma 14 so among those 9 is the minimum so that is also via 4 so in the same way you will be doing for 4 comma 8 and at the end you will be doing for 5 comma 9 so now once you are done with that the via path whatever i am saying via via you will be writing it here cost you will be writing it here and vertex will be here so once it is done we, we are calling this as backward approach right so this is the reason why you are calling it as backward approach so now you will be starting from the end okay so what is at the end guys it is a stage 5 so here i assume here okay so it is a d, d of at a stage 5 ninth element okay so now come down so at a stage 5 ninth element is giving you eighth element as the distance or the position okay now we are having eight in stage four so in stage 4 8th value is 5 5 is in stage 3 okay so in stage sorry in stage 3 element 5 we are having 3 in 3 is located at stage 2 stage through element sorry stage 2 element 3 location is at 1 again at stage 1 stage 1 1 location is at 1 only so you can directly say the path you can avoid this guys one as we have reached 1 already so 9 to 8 to 5 to 3 to 1 so this is the minimum path and the ending cost that is nothing but 12 is the cost of the path okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on the backward approach and forward approach of multi graph problem so in the next lecture we'll be going through the algorithm guys i'll be just giving you an overview about the algorithm guys because the algorithm is what we have discussed right now so all the steps that you have done here we will be saying or we will be coding the computer to do the these steps for us that's it so I hope everyone got a clear idea guys please be perfect with these two problems guys because you can expect one question from 
from this chapter or from these topics. Okay, so I hope everyone is clear with these topics. So in the next lecture, we'll be continuing with the algorithm. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.